combination of these three leaves is going to tell you the kind of cigar you are going to rule. The secret of the combination of these three leaves, we are going to be involved in this one. That is leaf number four. The secret is involved here. These are the right. See, the dress is cultivated, covered, covered to avoid the direct incidence of the sunrise on the leaf and it's soft, soft. And it's the one who is going to give the dress the external appearance of any cigar. See this one. As you can see, the leaves have been already collected and distributed according to the role inside the cigar. Force, strength, flavor and smell, and capote. Capote is number four. The first thing you have to do is to take away the central thing. Here is concentrated between 85 and 90 percent of the nicotine content. In the case of number Montegrito number four, it is composed. One leaf for smell and combustion. One leaf. Complete leaf of flavor. There is a middle strength curve. We will use only half a leaf of a, for the strength. Due to the fact that it burns slower, it goes to the center. Now, you do the same process. The other way, strength with strength, flavor with flavor, flavor and combustion. If you prepare another kind of combination, that's a different flavor, that's a different brand. And we have 27 in here. 27 different brands. Now it's ruling the, 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 the combination. If the leaf 
Number four. Now he has the body, he has the internal part almost ready. You put it. You put in a mold that has the exact dimension, length, and diameter for this brand. And you put in the press during 45 minutes. After that time, here you are. You have a Monte Cristo number four, but it's still naked. Now, it's going to use the last leaf I show you. You must keep it covered and heal it. See? This is dry. That was not funny. <laughs> yes, it was. Held with a piece of leaf of a cigar in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> Who's going to see him? He's sitting in a coffee shop. But I, he was my student. Oh, 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 poor boy. <laughs> poor boy, look at him, he's an expert. For the five, for the leaf number five, it's going to use a special glue that it doesn't harm. Smell it, come on. It can't smell that either. See? Whoa, See? So handmade. Look at the instruments. In a factory, they must rule between 70 and 100 during eight hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a difficult job. Mm -hmm. You need to be an expert. Did you all make that hand? Yeah. Armando, did your friend, did Raul, did he work in a factory? No, he was trained in the, at school. You need to pass at school six months. And then you have an examination, like any other kind of school. Do they still pick tobacco by hand? Or of course, yeah. yeah. It? it has to be picked by hand? Yeah. Because no tractors, no technology, just cows. People underneath. Yeah. They do like this, and they put the lips yeah. here. Yeah. Here. Here. And a bunch of them here. Wow. wow. This is a fresher number, Monte Cristo number four you have ever seen in your lives. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> hey, Armando, I've heard some people say that the, the best cigars are aged. What, what do you say to that? It depends. Why? Because if you take them to your climatic conditions, the oldest one is going to be a baseball bat. <laughs> they need to be under 70% of humidity, 65 and about 30 percent of temperature this this climate. Okay. Now sit back, you're going to have more rum. Remember you pay for this and you are going to have a Monte Cristo number four in your hands to smoke it everybody together. <laughs> If you can stand up, I can bring the bus closer. You have the smaller cigars or just the ones? There are smaller, but he doesn't have them. The smaller, the smaller are usually rule uh, using machines. Thank you, Raul. Thank you for showing us that. Thank you. Mm -hmm.